Okay, good morning. Today is Thursday, January 11th, 2024. My name is Chris Nappy. I'm a natural resource officer for the town of Barnstable. Um, the time is now 9.34. We're meeting today for um, the hearing for the renewal of the aquaculture grant for Virginia Hoek of 189 Pinquisset Cove Circle in Ketuit, Mass. Um, as you can see, uh, Virginia's application for renewal is up on the screen here. I'll just go through that briefly um, and we'll have any comment after that. So uh, this, this um, site is located in Barnesville Harbor, so on the north side of town in the Barnesville Aquaculture Zone. Uh, it has a mean low water depth of zero feet, a mean high water depth of 9.5. She describes the existing bottom conditions as firm mud and the existing natural shellfish population as none. The species of shellfish to be cultivated are Eastern oysters and Cassostria, or Cassostria virginica, so just oysters there. Um, other species to be cultivated if so desired, um, none. It says tray and bag culture, seed from half inch to two inch produced in bags greater than two inch in trays three to four foot wire trays, ADPI style bags attached to trays, gear deployed March through June, removed from site by January. And how do you propose to harvest your shellfish, market oysters taken from trays? And will you institute a predator control program? Um, stated here, bags keep seed protected from predators. As uh, the proposed shellfish grant your sole means of support. No, but it is part of the Cape Cod Oyster Company farm in Barnesville Harbor. Do you plan to employ any outside help in your operation? And the site is managed by Dave Ryan of Cape Cod Oyster Company. And this would be for a term of 10 years as this site has been operated by Cape Cod Oyster for some time now. And then you can see here, there's the maps. This, this site is actually split into two, two spots one 1.4 acre site and 1.53 acres site. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. This, um, you know, Cape Cod Oyster has been operating at this spot for uh, quite some time. So we have Dave Ryan present. Um, Dave, would you like to add anything else other than what's on the application? There we go. I'm unmuted. Uh, no, no additional comments. Okay, thank you. Um, we have uh, shellfish constable Amy Croto present. Amy, would you like to add anything at, uh, on that from natural resources? Um, so speaking on behalf of the shellfish committee, this application was reviewed at their December 13, 2023 meeting and all that were in attendance voted unanimously to recommend approval of the 10 year renewal to the town manager. Uh, Natural Resources had an opportunity to review the application and also has no opposition to the 10-year renewal. Um, Virginia's in good standing, paperwork and fee-wise, um, and it's standard operations out in the harbor. Okay, very good. So uh, we'll take those recommendations um, into account. We'll type we'll type them up and send them to the town manager and. Um, yeah, it takes 30 days to for you guys to get your for you guys to get your license. So yeah, just um plan on that. You should have your paperwork in no time. Thank you. Okay. So the time is now 9:38, and we can close the hearing. Thank you guys. Thank you.